PRCD is, or purely obsessional compulsive disorder is basically OCD without the compulsions like the washing and um, washing hands and uh, checking doorknobs and handles and stuff like that. But instead, the rituals will be up in your head. Everyone has intrusive thoughts, you know, oh, what if I steered into traffic in the car and crashed and blah, 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 or oh, look at that, oh, oh, I'm worried about something, and the thought just goes, you know, it's like, oh. For people with pure OCD, the thought carries on, goes on, goes on, goes on. For people with pure OCD, they're often centred around very taboo topics, very shameful topics, things that make you feel like you're a terrible person. It can be just these unwanted, distressing thoughts, distressing th feelings, um, distressing images, distressing impulses that cause the person absolute terror. Pure OCD is often about like harm, so worrying that you could harm someone. It can be um, sexual, fears of being attracted to things. Uh, it can be religious. So blasphemous thoughts, uh, fear of sinning, um, often around morals, so worrying about being a bad person. It can be around relationships, so consistently, so just worrying over and over again with the right person, um, worrying, do I love them? Worrying, what if I could be with someone else? But it takes over your entire life. It's not just like little doubts. It will, it will just keep going and going and going and going. It could be fears around health, so fear. Of, being contaminated, having an awful disease, what if you hurt someone? And it's often very taboo, very disturbing, completely, completely not to do with your normal character. And there's a difference between unwanted thoughts and wanted thoughts and the desire to act and absolutely never ever gonna act on anything that you think about. <laughs> but that's OCD and it doesn't let you go. It's got you like. And the cycle of anxiety goes like this. You get the intrusive thought or obsession and that causes a lot of distress and anxiety. You then go on to the mental compulsion. So a common compulsion can be avoiding whatever the obsession is. It can be uh, checking your thoughts repeatedly. It can be checking your body to, you know, oh, what if I'm attracted to this bloody butt? It can be um, trying to neutralise the thoughts, like trying to have good thoughts to neutralise the bad thoughts. Uh, start replaying events in your head to check, oh, what if I harmed somebody? What if I did something? And then checking how that makes you feel when you think that thought. Checking what you feel when you see a picture of something that's distressing and that you're worried about. And checking to see what your behaviours are. Trying to bring events in the past that show you as good to neutralize the bad feeling you're having right now um, or trying to resolve or understand the thoughts that come into your head you then maybe get temporary relief you'll think ah that's okay i've feel slightly reassured but that does not last very long because of the amount of distress that it causes you. Also, the compulsions that you get, so going over every event in your life, worrying if you're a good person, worrying if this, checking it, neutralizing it, ruminating over it, it's, re it's temporary relief, but because you're doing it and it feels a little bit better to continuously be worrying and thinking and it makes you feel, oh, I'm not a bad person, it, it actually makes anxiety worse because it's, it's, showing that that is working it's showing that your OCD is working because it's made you feel a little bit better there but then you get the re-emergence of the obsession or the intrusive thought and the cycle goes round and it'll go round and round and round um I still live with it like I had it it kind of started around 13 and it led to my you know attempt and then you know, I was fine for quite a few years and then it, it came back. It kind of when I think I started going to uni, more stress, um, I moved back back home, uh, more time to think, stuff like that. And I've been struggling with it for the past two years. I've been struggling really bad with it. Um, 
because I'm just obsessed with the thought that I'm not a good person. I'm obsessed with that and I can't let it go. Um, and because it caused my attempt as well, I'm always going to be thinking about it and checking. Am I still that person? Do I still worry? You know, am I a good person? Am I okay? Am I safe? It destroys your identity. And I just want to say, if you suffer with pure OCD, if you feel like you're a terrible person, like you could never tell anyone the thoughts that go on and the obsessions you have and the thoughts of absolute shame, guilt, fear, feeling like you don't deserve to live. You know, I'm just letting you know that you do and you matter and you're not a terrible person. If you have this form of OCD, it is relentless, it's horrible and I'm with you there. Um, you know, I'm not the perfect person to ask about because I still worry about things. I just want to let you know that please go seek help. And although the thoughts you may feel you might get in trouble for admitting it, stuff like that, if they are truly the unwanted thoughts and these intrusive thoughts that are nothing to do with your character, you can get help. Um, I'm getting help. I went to the GP and said I'm still worried about my intrusive thoughts. Um, I, I did like a step, steps to change thing. It was like an online thing about OCD. It wasn't great. So I got referred to just the general like mental health team. Um, and then I've had like a assessment uh, where they came and I just blurted out everything that I was going through. And then they're going through that on how they can help. And every therapist that I've gone to has said, Ev lots of people deal with this. It's just you don't talk about it. And I'm in a good place now that I feel I can share it with the world. If I'm in an obsession, I can't say anything. I can't, I, I like shut down and it's terrible. So I feel for anyone that has it because I suffer with it and I hope you're okay. And I hope that it will get better for you. And it's something that can be treated, you know. Um, yeah, I hope this maybe helps someone. Um, it's okay. You're going to be okay.